Hi guys, I am back with another Ipsy unbagging. So this month is really, really exciting for me. If anybody uh, knows me, knows that I love animal prints, especially leopard print. This Man. bag is probably gonna be one of my bags, definitely going into my purse. I probably have like three or four Ipsy bags in my purse already, just because I use it for my makeup, my money, whatever. I just use my Ipsy bags for everything. So other than that, let's get started so you guys can see how cute this bag is. Today though, I am not gonna be applying my makeup. If you guys want to, I'll leave some cards up above and you guys can check out some of my other videos where I applied the makeup for what I did get in my bag. But today we're gonna keep it short and sweet and I'm just gonna show you what I got in my bag today and I will talk about all the extras that I got. So hopefully you guys are following some of my other videos. I do a lot of unbagging for my Ipsy. I do some for FabFitFun, go check them out also. But today we're just gonna focus on our Ipsy bag and see how cute it is. So let's get started. And the bags that I'm getting are $12 a month. They up their price just a little bit. If you guys um, want like full size, then you pay the upgrade or the Glam Plus bags, I think it's called now. I'm not sure. But I usually just get the um, regular size bag. So here is this. Here is the bag. It is super adorable. It has a little tassel on the end. A lot of the Ipsy bags do come with some kind of featured little um, zipper part to it. So this is what that looks like but before i get into what's inside my bag i'm going to show you some of the things that are inside here um, when they package your stuff not all of it comes in your bag so some of my extra stuff is in here and i'm going to share that with you but let me get the i'm not going to look at what i have in here i did not look at what's in there so i am excited but if you guys do get ipsy bags you'll know that you'll get an email stating um kind of like a sneak peek of what you're going to get according to your profile of what you put in there and what you like and what you don't like and then um what your add-ons are there'll be a time where they'll email you and then they'll say hey it's time for an add-on would you like to add on and you can kind of customize your bag a little bit so that's kind of some of the stuff that we're going to go over versus what's in my bag and what I customize. I am going to go on my phone a little bit so I can kind of show you a little bit of what that looks like. Um, you always get a card. It always gives you some of the information in here of what's in your bag. But we're going to start with my extras first, okay? For my add-on, I got their real benefits um mascara so that's one of my extras that i paid for i think it was like three dollars extra that i paid for that so that'll be fun to try i have not tried that and like i stated in a lot of my other videos i love mascara so i don't care how many bottles i have have of mascara or even the like the little trial size are nice to kind of get try them out and if you like them you can purchase them so these are really nice to have the blackheads are no fun, but removing them can be. Grace and Stella. I actually got this for one of my boys. Um, he probably wouldn't want me to put this on here, but he struggles a lot with blackheads, so we're gonna give this a try and see if this works. So that was another add-on that I paid $3 extra for in my bag. So let's get started and then I'll, I'll let you know some of the other stuff that I got but other than that that was the two add-ons that I got so we're gonna start from the top in your app on your phone versus what's in here they're pretty much in the same order so you can just kind of look over some of the stuff that you got but if you want to see like your add-ons and stuff like that go on your app and it'll show you all of that too and it's nice to have your app because then you can do your reviews on there and it gives you all the points that you get and then you can get free stuff also and that sometimes comes in your um next month's bag okay yeah, so we are gonna start with the first thing it is the tokyo perfect repair treatment mask that's what that looks like so 
it's a pretty good size sample. If you guys, like I was saying, if you want like the larger sizes, then you would want to upgrade to the other bag. So it's kind of like a creamy mixture. Smells really, really good. Your perfect hair is just wash away. Protect color, strengthen hair, and shield straights from future damage with this deep conditioning treatment with Nature Lab. Um, fortified with bamboo stem cells, smart keratin. This hydrating treatment delivers even on the first use. So I'll be using that for my hair because I straighten my hair quite a bit. So this will be a benefit. Okay, so that was that one. And then let's move on to the next one. Show sure what that is. Coco Cabana Body Cream. This is Brazilian beauty brand creates in their signature cocoa sugar blend to deliver up to 70 hours of hydration. It smells really good. It kind of is almost like a tanning lotion kind of smell to it, summery smell. So this one um, will be nice to use in the winter. Okay, um, the next one is, this one I'm actually gonna try out for you guys today. I did get a brush, so we're gonna kinda sneak ahead. But I got the Pixie Petra Mesmerizing Mineral Dual in Natural Nude. Okay, let me show you what that looks like and then we're gonna apply some of that. I got some of my brushes here. I didn't wanna do a full makeup tutorial today. Um, just because I wanted to kind of shorten up my videos a little bit. It seems like when I do my makeup videos, they seem pretty long. And I kind of wanted to keep them a little bit short. I think you guys would rather me just do short videos. But if you ever, if you guys are liking um, my makeup tutorial Ipsy bags, um, kind of try on, just let me know in the comments down below if you would prefer just the unbagging part of it or if you guys actually want to see me do a full makeup with what I get in my Ipsy bags. Okay, so th these colors are perfect for the colors that I usually wear. If you guys can kind of tell in the makeup that I have on now, this is pretty much a similar color to what I use. So I will use this quite a bit. With this color though, what I usually do is I take the light color here, I apply it all over my whole entire lid, and then I take my um, blending brush that I have right here, and I would take the other light color and I would just go right in here with that, okay? And then if I wanna build up and make it brighter, I would just focus on the one spot. I also use um, like a gel, mm, e.l.f., uh, what's it called, uh, eyeshadow, so that when I do apply my color, it sticks a little bit better and lasts longer. I don't have that in front of me, but if you check out some of my other vid Ipsy bags, you'll see that I use a lot of e.l.f. products also. I'm not like a stickler on what brand I like to use. I kind of just go off of what I get in my Ipsy bags anyways. I'm not a big makeup shopper. I like quick, easy, you guys all know, mainly all know I have 10 children, I have eight in the home. I need to get my makeup done quickly, okay? So I have a lot of kids that are very, you know, they know that I do makeup a lot. They're very content with me um, being in my room, getting my makeup on. I don't do it every day, but when I do do my makeup, it's not that big of a deal for my kids to know that I've always been into makeup. So if you guys know, that I have the kids in the background, you'll probably hear them right now. They're all having supper right now while I make this video. So if you hear any kids, Evelyn crying, that's a usual. So other than that, I can't, um, I mean, you guys come to my videos knowing that I have kids, so you're gonna hear a lot of like rustling and stuff in the background, so that's okay. All right, so what I would do if I wanna make this um, brighter, I would take the darker color and bring it on the outside. I've been going through a lot of um, videos lately with me being over 40, so I'm 43 years old. I'm very much into makeup and I kind of want to, you know, I love makeup in a sense of making it look fresh. I don't want to be 
like very bold or anything with makeup. I want it to look natural as much as can be. I do like a lot of winged liner, so I am gonna be a little bold with that. But I've been looking into some um, other ways to apply my shadow. I feel that I have more of that hooded eye look. So I wanna really open that up and I don't want it to be so closed in. And when I was applying my makeup before, it seemed like I was putting my darker shadow more inwards than outwards and I wanted to correct that. So we'll go over that in a minute. And then um, I did start contouring. So we're gonna go over that in a minute also. And I'll just kind of run by some of the stuff that I'm using. I don't have it in front of me right now, um, but I'm just gonna go over it quick and you guys might see it in one of my other videos. But let's just get back to the eyeshadow um, Pixie Duo. So what I would do is I would just apply a thicker or a brighter, darker area right here. If you can kind of see, it's a little bit darker than over here. And then I would do the same on this side. Just because what we're trying to do is keep all the color on the outside and keep it light on the inside so that it doesn't look like, like, I don't know. If you can kind of see, if I close my, or go like this, you can kind of see that it folds down a little bit. We don't want that to happen. We want that to be nice and bright. Especially when you're aging, which is kind of funny to say, I don't want to say that, but that's okay. So, and then I'm gonna, I would blend that in. So we don't want that to just, you know, sit there like that. We would blend that in. And we want that to be blended above our crease line. We don't want that crease line indented because that's what makes that hooded eye look. We want it to be nice and bright, right in here. We really want that to stand out and we don't want to look crowded in that area. So if you can kind of tell, even though I had my makeup on already, you can kind of see how that brightened it up. And then you can take a little bit of the lighter stuff and kind of stick it up right up here to make your eyebrows a little bit more pointy if you like that way of doing your eyebrows. I do, I like my eyebrows to be as pointy as pointy can be. That's just my style, that's just the way I like it. Um, I do apply um, light eyebrow pencil to my eyebrows. I do not go heavy with it. I don't like that look. I like them to be natural. So I keep them pretty basic and I already applied that today. So I don't have that with me, but like I said before, check out some of my other videos and I showed a lot of that in there. Okay, um, so that was the Pixie Duo and I think this is gonna be well used and maybe even purchased later. That's the cool thing about getting these bags is you're just kinda getting a little peek of some of the products out there that you could be using. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. In the next thing, we are talking about the blush. Love Craft Beauty Blush in Askelia. A brand that's about showing yourself love made by makeup artist um, Francille Daly, Daly Love Craft Beauty celebrates unique style and self-care. This light reflecting rosy pink shade delivers a natural looking flush of color, is easily buildable and blends like a dream. We are going to move on to the next one because I'm actually going to use the next brush to apply that and to apply my bronzer and then we're going to talk a little bit of the contouring so the next thing that I got is this blend contour brush it's a GG gorgeous the gorgeous contour brush named by the YouTube personality author and activist GG gorgeous is a limited edition collection of essentials to get you glowing on your own terms the chick this chick white contour brush was fluffed with has fluffy bristles and tapered brush head for easy blending and sculpting. So that's what we're gonna move on to. It's nice and soft. It'll be nice to use for contouring. Now, the product that I use for contouring, I'm gonna look that up right now. I did order mine on Amazon because when I started looking into contouring, I kinda wanted it right away. And we all know with Amazon, you get it in two days. So 
can't beat that and i'm not taking all of my eight kids to walmart to go purchase contouring so this is what i got the remel insta contour duo so it's very light on one end for your highlighting and then the other end is a dark color so let's see if I can kind of show you guys what that looks like. I'm sorry for my ring light in the background, guys, but um, that's kind of what it looks like. So the shade, if you can kind of tell, I do have it on right now, and I do apply it from here all the way around, and then I add some to my neck just because I'm trying to contour this area. i starting to um, have some like more like the saggy down here and actually if you can kind of tell in the in this video you can't really tell that much but i do apply that contour you cannot see the dist or the difference in color so you're not going to worry about like oh you know on my neck it's like darker and then my face is light or whatever it does blend in very nice it's not like a heavy foundation where you're going to have that difference in color so I also apply in here today I did it and I also apply here so that it just gives you that overall facial like lift. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply some of my bronzer with this brush. I usually probably wouldn't do like my bronzer and blush with this brush. I would use a different blush for this. But I'm gonna just kind of give you an idea of what contouring looks like just with a bronzer. So we're gonna kind of cheat a little bit here and I'm gonna show you an example. So before I blend it out, this is what your contour would do to your cheeks, okay? So that's just applying it to my cheeks and I didn't even blend that in, but if you guys can tell, it kind of just went brought everything up which is so nice so with your contour you're gonna bring it all the way around and then you would take this and then you would blend it out okay so you can apply your contour under your foundation if you would like so what I do is I apply my under eye cream I apply my found foundation like just kind of in this area and up here and then I take my contour and I do it right here. Like I said, do it all the way around and I put that together and then I apply my translucent powder to the rest of my face. So with my bronzer though, I would make it very heavy in here. I just don't have my brush with me to show you, but that's normally what I would do. But if you can kind of see in the contouring part, it really does kind of suck in them cheeks and kind of give you the visual of um, bringing everything upward so this is just something that I have but we're gonna talk about the blush right now so let's see what that looks like it might be too pinky for me but we'll just apply a little bit oh it's not too bad it's kind of almost like a like a peachy if you would see on the back it's pretty it's pretty pink but it's not inside so this is a pretty good color for me so we're just gonna apply a little bit now I would probably wash out my brush because I'm not gonna be one of contouring with blush and bronzer on it so you wouldn't be using it the way that I'm using it right now so what you can do is just apply your blush right here you're not gonna wanna just go boop all the way up that's more for like your bronzers and your other stuff you want to keep your blush kind of just real low okay now when i do do my that doesn't even sound right when you do do okay anyways so when you apply this so if you guys can tell it kind of just brings everything up and out um and then you can kind of go down your nose you can apply your contour or some of your blush or bronzer up in these areas if you have a larger forehead you would want to contour in here to kind of just make everything a little bit smaller but if you guys can tell this is a really nice color for my 
uh, face tone and it's a very natural color so I probably would be using that quite a bit. I really like it a lot. Um, so that looks pretty good. And then if you want to, you could add maybe just a little color in here, but just kind of keep that area a little simple. Just do your contour in there and kind of just leave it alone. So that's um, the contouring brush. The thing that's kind of funny with this though is that with me just starting contouring, I never had a contouring brush. I kind of was just using my sponge to apply it. So I'll be happy to try this. I'll wash this up and give that a try. Now also in my bag, I did, um, I don't know if I got this from last time or if this is my added points. I don't remember. Let's look at my added points once and see if it states that. I must have ordered these extra. So I think I ordered these extra. I think it was like $3 a piece. So all together, um, I got all of these together for uh, what $12 um, which is fine because these are things that I will use so this is kind of like an added bonus so what I actually got in my bag to make it a little bit more clear is I got the hair treatment I got the cream I got the contouring brush I got the pixie duo and I got the blush so i got five things in my ipsy bag this is what you would be paying for the 12 dollars with your ipsy bag so a lot of fun things are in there and like i said you can purchase them individually if you would like otherwise go get your ipsy bag it's a lot of fun to receive them um, on a regular basis if you guys really enjoyed this video today it's always fun to unbag the ipsy bags um, I hope you guys like this video was a little bit different that I didn't apply everything today But if you guys want to see more of that Just leave me a comment below that you want to see a whole makeup tutorial on how I use my ipsy products um, I usually don't do the masks in there if I do get a mask. I usually just do that at another time I'm just applying the makeup that I get in my bags and telling you guys how I like them today I didn't get to do that besides some of the shadow and the blush and then using the contour um, brush to apply that but I think I'll be using this quite a bit so other than that guys I hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to share my video other than that guys I will see you in the next one